Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a WWK day. Hii ni siku ya wanawake. There is a lot of celebration in here. Na kuna sherehe nyingi sana ambazo zinaendelea. Don't be left out. Naomba usibaki nyuma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Pastor Ole. Asante sana mchungaji Ole. Our lead pastor. Mchungaji wetu kiongozi. For allowing us to stand. Kwa kutupa nafasi sisi kusimama wakati huu. For allowing this good women of God. Kwa kuwaruhusu wanawake wazuri hao wa Mungu to stand here and minister. Kusimama mahali hapa na kuhudumu. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Thank you my mwenyekiti. Namshukuru sana mwenyekiti wetu wa WWK and your kamati pamoja na the whole county for let me preach this morning. For kwa kunipa nafasi hii ya kusimama na kuhubiri. We have already prayed Tumekusha kuomba kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu. And we are going to hear the word. Na sasa tunakwenda kusikia maneno ya Mungu. Good morning Hilda. Good to see you. Amen. Okay, open with me please to the book of Deuteronomy. Naomba ufungue pamoja nami katika kitabu kile cha kumbukumbu la Torati sura ile ya kumi. Verse 20 and 21. Tutasoma mstari ule wa 20 na mstari wa 21. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati verse 20 mstari wa 20 and 21 na 21 I read in the name of Jesus Nitasoma katika jina la Yesu Fear the Lord your God and serve him Hold fast to him and take your oath in his name He is your praise He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes Neno linasema mche Bwana Mungu wako umtumikie yeye. Ambatana naye na kuwapa kwa jina lake. Yeye ndiye fahari yako na yeye ndiye Mungu wako aliyekutendea mambo haya makubwa ya kutisha uliyoyaona kwa macho yako. Amen. Please remember this word. Naomba tuyakumbuke maneno hayo. He is your praise. Yeye ndiye Mungu wako. Yeye yeah, ndiye fahari yako. He is your God. Yeye yeah, ndiye Mungu wako. What he did? He performed great miracles. Amefanya mambo gani? Ametutendea miujiza mikubwa. And you have seen with your own eyes. Na wewe umeona kwa macho yako mwenyewe. Amen. Amen. Have you seen miracles in your life? Je, yeah, umeona miujiza kwenye maisha yako? Keep praising him. Endelea kumwabudu fahari yako. Because he is your praise. Kwa sababu yeye ndiye fahari yako. When I was reading these uh, two verses, nilipokuwa ninasoma mistari hii miwili, I asked myself. Nikajiuliza mwenyewe, who is saying these words? Je, ni nani ambaye anazungumza maneno haya? And to whom? Na anazungumza na kwa and nani? Why? Na kwa nini? And I realized. Na nikagundua kwamba it was Moses. Ilikuwa ni Musa. He was speaking to the Israelites. Alikuwa anazungumza na wana wa Israel. He was reminding the Israelites. Alikuwa anawakumbusha wana wa Israel how great God is. Jinsi gani Mungu wao alivyo mkuu? How gracious God is. Jinsi gani Mungu wao alivyo wanema? How merciful God is. Jinsi gani Mungu wao alivyo warehema? Although they messed up ingawa walikuwa wamemkosea when i read chapter 9 nilivyosoma katika ile sura ya 9 because where we are is chapter 10 maana hapo tulipoanza sisi ni sura ile ya 10 when i read chapter 9 nilivyosoma sura ile ya 9 moses was reminding the israelites musa alikuwa anawakumbusha wana wa israel where god brought them from kule ambako mungu wao aliwatoa he was telling them alikuwa anawaeleza remember kumbuka oh did you know ah kweli wewe haukujua did you see je mliona i don't think you did mimi sidhani kama mliona if you did kama kweli mliona you won't do this mess msingefanya mambo haya ambayo you will not worship the golden calf msingekuwa mnamwabudu huyu ndama wa dhahabu but if you saw it lakini kama kweli mliona if you didn't see that ama kama hamkuona i'm going to remind you nitawakumbusha so he told them kwa hiyo Musa akawaambia God called me Moses. Mungu aliniita mimi Musa. And said Moses. Na akasema Musa, prepare the stone tablets. Andaa zile mbao mbili za mawe. 
two of them Mbili. come up to the Mount Zion. Na mlima. Mount Sinai. Mlima Sinai. Jo, J- come to me. Come. Njo so that I can give you the commandment. So that they can lead this Israel. At this time, now Israelites were about to cross the river Jordan. To go to Canaan. And God is like, na Mungu alikuwa kama anawatazama. He say if I let them go without my commandments they will go and worship their God so I'm giving them this commandment so Moses he went up he stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights he was not eating he was not drinking. Remember, Kumbuka. when I'm explaining this, it's Moses who is speaking to Israelites. The first incident of writing commandments is in a, in a book of Exodus. Chapter 39. We will learn that next time. But this time, Moses is reminding Israelites. I stayed there for 40 days. And 40 nights without eating. That means no food. No water. No juice. Nothing. It wasn't an easy job. That is what Moses is saying. So God wrote on the tablets with his own finger. With his own finger. Hold on to that. He wrote them while Moses was waiting. When he was done and when Moses was about to come down from the mountain God told him go go see your people. They have messed up. They have left me. They are worshiping another God. They are worshiping the calf. The golden one. They had mad. Israelites could not wait for 40 days. They wanted something to worship. They didn't know where Moses was. So they were like, we should make a calf. Something we can hold on to. Without knowing, God had something greater than that. And our God is so great. He does miracles. So Moses came down. When he was about to get to the camp of Israelites. He heard noises. Loud voices. And he saw Israelites dancing. Dancing. Singing. Bowing. And he, he was like, what is this? So he saw with his own eyes. They were worshipping the golden calf. Moses was furious. He was mad. He was angry. He took those tablets, threw them down, and they were broken. I don't think he felt good. That the tablets that God wrote by his own finger. 
au mbili za mawe ambazo Mungu ameandika kwa kidole chake mwenyewe are broken zimevunjika and i moses na mimi Musa is the one who broke them ndiye ambaye nimezivunja and i believe this na naamini hivi moses felt bad Musa alijisikia vibaya and he thought that the covenant na kadhani labda lile agano God had with Israelites through the tablets ambalo Mungu alikuwa nalo na wana wa Israel kupitia vile vibao viwili is now broken sasa litakuwa limevunjika he didn't know hakujua kwamba our god is merciful Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa rehema our god is merciful Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa rehema he changes situations yeye anabadilisha hali zetu he touches life anayagusa maisha even if you are in a mess hata kama upo mahali ambapo sio pasi he changes that situation Mungu anabadilisha hiyo hali as long as we get back to him ili mradi tutarudi kwake haleluya haleluya praise god maana sifiwe so god had called it those uh, commandments kwa hiyo Mungu alizitoa zile amri his covenant akaziita kwamba ndio agano lake through this uh, tablet kwa hiyo kupitia vibao hivi viwili through this commandment kupitia amri hizi God made covenant with Israel Mungu alifanya agano na wana wa Israel. The covenant that is unbroken. Agano ambalo halivunjiki kwa chochote. It cannot be broken by anything. Haliwezi kuvunjwa na chochote. Guess what? Unadhani nini? Guess what? Unadhani nini? God has made covenant with us. Mungu amefanya agano na sisi. It is never broken. Haliwezi kuvunjika. He never breaks the covenant he has Mungu with us. Mungu havunji agano alilolitengeneza. So we have to stay put. Kwa hiyo inatupasa kukaa na yeye. After Moses broke the tablet. Na baada ya zile mbao kuwa zimevunjika. I don't want to go that far. Asihitaji kwenda ndani zaidi kwa habari hii. He also prayed. Musa kaomba for other 40 days. Kwa siku nyingine tena 40. And God called him back. Na Mungu akamuita tena. The same process na kwa kufuata mchakato ule ule Moses 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 Musa 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 bring other tablets zileta tena vibao vingine up here to Mount Sinai panda navyo mpaka mlima Sinai two of them viwili tena Moses did the same na Musa akafanya vivyo hivyo he went tena. up to God akapanda mpaka kwa Mungu and he fasted again na akafunga tena 40 days akafunga tena siku 40 and night days mchana na usiku So this covenant Kwa hiyo agano hili is not an easy one. Sio agano rahisi. It needs a lot of work. Linahitaji kazi kubwa. And we have this covenant. Na sisi tunalo hili agano. Through Jesus Christ. Kupitia Yesu Christ. The salvation he has given to us. Ukombozi ambao umetupatia sisi. Is the covenant with God. Ndilo agano ambalo tumefanya pamoja na So you need to remember this morning. Kwa ukumbuke asubuhi We have the greatest covenant with God. Tunalo agano kuu zaidi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to remember that. Natamani ukumbuke hivyo. It will never break. Ni agano ambalo haliwezi kuvunjwa. Unless you break it. Ama la, labda wewe Our God it doesn't break that covenant. Mungu wetu hawezi kuvunja agano lake. Our God change that never changes his mind. Mungu wetu abadilishi akili yake. When he says he is your God, he Anabusema is your God. Anaposema yeye ni Mungu wako, kweli ni Mungu wako. When he says he is your healer, he is your healer. Anaposema yeye ni mponyaji, kweli ni mponyaji. When I, he says I am with you, he is with you. Anaposema niko pamoja na wewe, kweli There is nothing to worry about. Hakuna chochote cha kuona. There is nothing to worry about hakuna chochote cha kukupa si wasi he is your praise asema yeye ndiye fahari yako yeye ndiye fahari yako he is your praise na yeye ndiye mungu wako he is your god aliyekutendea makubwa thanks hallelujah Do you know why we put the word of God in songs? Hivi unajua kwa nini tunaliweka neno la Mungu kwenye mioyo? So that we can memorize it. Ili kwamba tuweze kukumbuka. And put in our heart. Na kuliweka kwenye mioyo yetu. And celebrate that word. Na kufurahia hilo neno. Hallelujah. 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 So he is our praise. Kwa hiyo yeye ndiye fahari. He is our God. Yeye ndiye Mungu wetu. We have a covenant with Tunalo him. Tunalo agano na yeye. He has a covenant with us. Analo agano na sisi. The covenant. Agano that gives us life. Ambalo linatupa sisi uzima. We were in death. 
Tulikuwa katika kifo. And this covenant brought us back to life. Agano hili limeturudisha uzimani. You were dead before oh, this covenant. Yes, you were dead. Ulikuwa ni mtu mfu. You were walking. Ulikuwa unatembea. Thinking that you are alive. Ukifikiri kwamba ni mzima. But inside of you you were dead. Ndani yako ulikuwa umekufa. I was dead. Ulikuwa umekufa. I was dead. Mimi nilikuwa nimfu. But thank God. Lakini ashukuru Mungu. For his covenant. Kwa ajili ya agano That we are alive again. Hallelujah. 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 Why do we worry? Usiogope. Why do we worry? Kwa nini tuna mashaka? Why? Kwa nini? Why we, do we look ourselves down? Kwa nini tunajitazama na kujurumia? Why? Kwa nini? We have a covenant with God. Tunalo agano na Mungu. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Yes. I think to this point na kufikia hapo you might know unaweza sasa ukajua what the type of message is tunazungumza kwa habari ya ujumbe gani what is the title je kichwa chetu cha ujumbe ni nini are you ready to hear uko tayari kusikia boasting in the lord kujivuna ndani ya bwana having fahari with god kuona fahari ndani ya mungu hallelujah hallelujah dio yes hallelujah 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 So we boast in the Lord. Kwa hiyo tunajivunia ndani ya Bwana. Let's see what this boast is. Tuone kujivuna ni nini. What is it? Ni nini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To boast is to feel pride. Kujivuna. To have a pride with somebody or something. Kujivunia jambo ni kujisikia vizuri ama kuhusiana na mtu ama jambo fulani. You feel so good when you see that person. Unajisikia vizuri unapomuona mtu fulani. You feel so good when we hear good news about that person. Unajisikia vizuri unaposikia habari njema zinazomhusu. When you look at your car, unapotazama labda ni gari yako. You say, mm, my, my car is good." Unasema kweli gari yangu ni nzuri. So you have pride with that car. Kwa hiyo unajisikia vizuri unajivunia gari. But the Bible says. Biblia inasema in 1 Corinthians katika kitabu kile cha Wakorinto wa kwanza Um, sura ya ngapi ngoja tuitafute vizuri which chapter we're going to look at which chapter in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 chapter 1 okay could you please read Okay nitasoma kitabu cha Wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya kwanza mstari wa 30 neno la Mungu linasema bali kwa yeye ninyi mmepata kuwa katika Kristo Yesu aliyefanya kwetu hekima itokayo kwa Mungu na haki na utakatifu na ukombozi Amen Could you please read again uh, Jeremiah 9:24 Nitasoma pia kitabu kile cha Yeremia sura ya Tisa, mstari wa 24 mstari wa 24 Kitabu cha Yeremia sura ya tisa, mstari wa 24 neno la Mungu linasema Bali ajisifuye na ajisifu kwa sababu hii ya kwamba ananifahamu mimi na kunijua ya kuwa mimi ni Bwana nitendaye wema na hukumu na haki katika nchi maana mimi napendezwa na mambo hayo asema bwana amen let him who boast boast about this that he understands and knows and knows me that i am the lord who exercises kindness justice and righteousness on earth for in this i delight says the lord amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we boast because kwa we know God. Kwa sababu tunamjua Mungu. We know this great God. Tunamfahamu huyu Mungu mkuu. We know him. Tunamfahamu yeye. He walks with us. Anatembea pamoja nasi. He is in our life. Yupo kwenye maisha yetu. He changes any situation. Na anabadilisha hali zozote tulizonazo. He heals us. Anatuponya. He restored what the devil has stolen from us. Anarejesha yale ambayo adui ameyaiba kutoka kwetu. 
So we know through Jesus Kwa hiyo tunafahamu kupitia Yesu who died on the cross for us. Ambaye alikufa pale msalabani kwa ajili yetu. He paid the price. Na yeye alilipa gharama. To reconnect us with God. Ili aweze kuturejesha ile mahusiano yetu na Mungu. He was beaten so bad. Alipigwa sana. He shed the blood na kamwaga damu yake on that cross katika msalaba ule just for me and you kwa sababu yangu mimi na wewe so that we can have that covenant again ili kwamba lile agano letu liweze kurejeshwa the salvation we have today is Wok- the covenant with God wokovu ambao tunao leo ni agano letu na Mungu we should take it so serious ni lazima tulichukue kwa umakini mkubwa as i said sana. before don't play with it kama nilivyosema tusicheze na agano hilo just the way Moses was telling the Israelites Kama vile ambavyo Musa alikuwa akiwaeleza wana wa Israel Don't play with this covenant Usicheze na agano hili Do you know where you are going Je mnajua kule mnakoenda As you are going to Canaan Kwamba mnaelekea Kanaani sasa Do you know people who live there Nawafahamu watu wanaoishi huko Do you know how strong they are Nafahamu ni watu wenye nguvu kiasi gani If you don't take this covenant with you seriously Kama hamtalichukua ili agano kwa umakini Those people are going to destroy you Wale watu watawaharibu God is telling us the same thing Mungu anatuambia sisi mambo yale Take the yale. salvation we received seriously Woko tuliyopokea because the world is ready kwa sababu dunia ipo tayari to take and destroy you kutuangamiza sisi and to kill you na kukuua wewe i repeat that one nitarudia tena take the covenant we have with god lichukue agano tulilonalo na Mungu wetu which is the salvation we received through the blood of Jesus ambao ndio wokovu tuliopokea kupitia damu ya Yesu take it so yes. seriously lichukue kwa umakini sana so that the devil will not steal it from you ili kwamba adui asiibe kutoka kwako so that the devil will not destroy you ili kwamba adui asikuangamize in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu receive that Pokea hilo. Receive that. Pokea hilo. In the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu. Ah, whenever when you said I receive Jesus as my personal savior. Mimi nilimpokea Yesu kama bwana na mwokozi wangu. You received that covenant. Na wewe ulilipokea hilo agano. Don't sit there and say Usikae chini ukasema I have sinned before God. Unajua nimemtenda Mungu dhambi. Yes, I am saved. Ni kweli nimeokoka. But I have sinned before God. Lakini nimemtenda Mungu dhambi. This covenant is broken. Agano hili limekwisha vunjika. I come to church just to come to church. Ninakuja tu kanisani kwa kutimiza tu ratiba. I come to church because everybody else is going to church. Naenda kanisani kwa sababu kila mmoja anaenda kanisani. That's the life from the devil. Huo ni uongo wa adui. Repent and come back to God. Repent and come back to God. Tubu na umrudie Mungu wako. If you sin against God. Kama umemtenda Mungu dhambi. The glory of God is not upon you. Utukufu wa Mungu hauko You are short of glory of God. Wewe umepungukiwa na utukufu. But whenever you say Lakini pale utakaposema I am standing back. Ninageuka. The glory comes back. Utukufu utakurudia. Don't sit there and feel like I am done. I am gone. I am finished. Usikae chini na ukajikatia tamaa kwamba mimi sasa nimeisha sina lolote linaloendelea kwenye maisha yangu. Hapana. So sin kwa hiyo dhambi is the first thing ndilo jambo la kwanza that causes you not to ch- enjoy the covenant with God ambalo linaweza kusababisha wewe usifurahie agano lako na Mungu the covenant is still there agano bado liko pale the covenant is still alive agano bado lipo hai but you don't have the courage lakini wewe hauna uo ujasiri to, to hold on to that covenant wa kuendelea kulikamata na kuliisha because agano. of the sin you have committed in your life kwa sababu ambayo umeitenda Turn back to God. Rudie Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn back to God. Rudie Mungu wako. The second thing. Jambo la pili that can cause us not to enjoy or to boast in the Lord Ambalo in the salvation. Linaweza kutusababisha tusifurahi na kujivunia wokovu tulionao ndani ya Yesu. Problems? Matatizo? Difficulties? Mambo magumu? Tribulations? Uh, majaribu? And you are gone and you are gone na unaona kama mambo yameisha nimemashamalizwa mimi mama mchungaji you know mama pastor 
I don't know what to do. I am so sick. I think I'm dying. I should find help somewhere else. That's the lie from the devil. Turn to God your healer. Jehovah Rapha who heals. Hallelujah. I have so many problems. My children do not even come to church. I taught them to love God. And I thought I was doing a good thing. But mama mchungaji. They are gone. The devil has taken them. I don't have anything to do with them anymore. I don't even want to see them. The lie from the devil. Another lie from the devil. You say devil. Take your hands away from my children. These are my children. I prayed before I got them. I prayed when I was pregnant. I prayed when I was going to the hospital. And God gave me these children. I love them. And you God loved them. Therefore, get out of my children. In the name of Jesus. Don't sit there and cry. My children are gone. What should I do? Remember the covenant we have with God. The covenant you have is the one your children have. Don't get discouraged. We have a lot of tribulation in this world. But Jesus said, I have overcome the world. Why feel so weak? Wake up. Wake up. Go back to that covenant. Say, God, I had given up for my children. I am coming back. To you. These are your children. I'm dedicating them to you. And guess what? I remember something. When you are with your children, remember this story, the way Moses was reminding the Israelites where God brought them from. Have time with your children. I know that's another lesson, but I'm telling you a little bit. Tell them how you prayed. God, give me children. Give me children, Lord. Please, Lord, give me children. And God gave you. Tell them. Maybe they don't know. Tell them. Tell them how you went to hospital. Africa, And now when you come to Africans. Tell them you had a lot of pain. You sacrificed a lot. With the help from above. Tell them. So that they know. Where they come from. So that they can respect you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't know where they came from. Some of them think they come just from the forest. Why should they at home where they came from? They are going back to that forest. Because you told them you came from that forest. I went to pick you up. My father, your father and I, we went to the forest because your children had asked you that question. Where do I come from? Oh, mm. uh, yes. Your father and I went to that went to the, Do you know there is a big forest somewhere? 
kwa huko kule. So we went there. Kwa hiyo mimi na baba yenu tulienda. And wow. Tulipofika tukashangaa. We found you there. Tukawakuta pale. He will go back there. Na tukawachukua tukarudi. Kwa nini asirudi? Why should they not go back? Kila mtu anarudi alikotoka jamani. Because everybody goes back where they came from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next time tutaongea hiyo. Amina. We are going to talk about that next time. Tell your children. Waeleze watoto wao. How you love them. Jinsi gani unavyowapenda? How you felt when they came to your hands. Jinsi gani ulivyojisikia pale ulipowabeba kwa mara ya kwanza? When he cried at the hospital. Walipolia mlipokuwa hospitali. Although you had a lot of pain. Ingawa ulikuwa na maumivu makubwa. I'm talking much with uh, WWK but I know men had pain too waiting for that lady to come from Lesbia. sana na wanawake lakini nafahamu wanaume pia wamejitoa kwa jinsi lot of pain. Ni maumivu makubwa. I said, we, when we saw you Unajua tulipoona the first thing jambo la kwanza kabisa we say god thank you tukasema mungu asante thank you for this wonderful son asante kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu thank you for this beautiful girl asante kwa ajili ya binti yangu i am so glad i'm holding you baby Nina my hand ninaweza kukubeba sasa mikono and you hold your hand and say when i saw you the first time na unamshika mkono ukimwambia nilipokuona kwa mara ya kwanza i cried nililia because you are a miracle to me kwa sababu wewe ni muujiza kwangu what you tell him na ukiendelea kumweleza what you tell her kile unachomwambia will build something in her heart or his heart kitajenga kitu ndani ya moyo wake please tafadhali talk to your children zungumza na watoto tell them good good things waeleze yale mambo mazuri tell them you took them to church waambie niliwapeleka kanisani and pastor ole put his hands on him na mchungaji ole akawaombea and prayed for them na akawaombea and dedicate them to the lord na akawaweka wao so my son kwa hiyo mtoto wangu guess what unajua nini you are dedicated to the lord you are the son of god you are the daughter of god hey you will go nowhere hauna mahali pengine pa kwenda Don't forget to tell your spouse. Usisahau kumwambia na mwenza wako. How you met? Jinsi gani mlivyokutana? How you loved him? Jinsi gani ulivyompenda? How you loved her? Jinsi gani ulivyompenda? The way you took a lot of risk. Jinsi ambavyo ulichukua risk nyingi. I remember Pastor Ole ninamkumbuka mchungaji yule. It is my turn today. Eh leo unajua ni zamu yangu. He used to live in Ubungo. Alikuwa anaishi ubungo yeye. And I used to live in Temeke. Na mimi nilikuwa ninaishi Temeke. By then you you have to bo, you had to board two buses to get to Temeke. Ili ufike Temeke kutoka ubungo ilikuwa lazima upande mabasi mawili. And from the bus stop na kutoka kwenye kituo kile cha daladala. You have to walk. Ni lazima utembe. You had to walk. Ni lazima utembe. There were no boda boda. Hakukuwa na boda boda kipindi hiki. There were no bajaji. Hakukuwa na bajaji by then. Before that na kabla ya hapo from Ubungo bus stand kutoka kituo kile cha Ubungo pale it is my turn husband unajua leo ni siku yangu i'm getting mbongo. proud of my husband na mimi i'm so proud mbongo. of him najivunia sana yes. mume wangu ndio from where he used to live kutoka pale yeye alipokuwa naishi he used to walk alikuwa anatembea almost half an hour ni mwendo wa kama nusu saa hii he would board the, board the first bus anapanda basi la kwanza to buguruni mpaka buguruni and in buguruni akifika buguruni he will board another anapanda bus jingine to temeke mpaka afike temeke and from temeke bus stop na akifika kituo kile cha daladala temeke he will walk almost half an hour again atatembea tena kama mwendo wa nusu saa tena just to come and see me ili aje anione hallelujah 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 i'm reminding myself na najikumbusha mwenyewe how precious i am nilikuwa wa thamani kiasi gani how precious i am to him Jinsi gani nilivyowa thamani kwake He took all that trouble Na akapitia mchakato wote huo Hallelujah 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 Remind your spouse Mkumbushe mwenza wako Asikwambie bahati mbaya tu mpaka sasa hivi tu Hakuna kitu kinaitwa bahati mbaya kwa wanaume Amen Amen Kanai 
Just sit with him and tell him hello. Do you remember when you brought me this gift? I had never received a gift like this. I have received a gift like this. Ask him to bring Hallelujah. some gifts for you. Hallelujah. The way you took time with me. You were always looking for time with me. The time we can talk. The time we can talk. At night. Hallelujah. Can I speak to young men nowadays? You call their phone. If you it's always busy. Kila siku iko busy. Whom is he talking to? Anazungumza na nani? Whom is he talking to? Anazungumza na nani? To somebody he loves. Anazungumza na mtu anaye. To somebody she loves. Anazungumza na mtu. You wake them in the morning. They cannot wake up. Why? They were up all night. Although it's not that good thing, but when you remind your wife or your husband, do you remember the way we used to talk on the phone? Why are we not talking right now? Let's go back. Let's go back. If you are not in good terms, Maybe you cannot talk. Remind yourself. I love my husband. I love my wife. I remember this. I remember that. I know. He is my husband. Although he's not here. But he is mine. When I remember this. And remember this. And remember this. He has love for me. Ananipenda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give him up. Don't give him up. Don't give her up. Remind yourself where you came from. We were poor. You were poor. And God has brought you from there. Problems. A lot of problems. But now here you are. You say, God, I have seen your glory. I have seen your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he takes us from glory to glory. He is not done with you yet. He is not done with you yet. Better things are coming. They are on the way. And we cannot wait. Please, Lord, show yourself to us. Show yourself to us, oh God. Hallelujah. The last thing I'm about to finish is self pity. Self pity causes a person. Not enjoy the salvation. Not boast in the Lord. Self pity is feeling sorry for yourself. You are sympathizing to yourself. You say, <sighs> Ah, I'm done. I don't feel good. People have talked about me. Very bad things. They hurt. They make, feel, make me feel so bad. Sometimes when I remember, I cry. I cry because of those words. And you lost that uh, rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Everybody goes there. Kila moja anapitia mahali hapo wakati fulani. Everybody feels sorry for her or himself. Kila moja kuna wakati anajihurumia. The difference is. Lakini tofauti ni kwa. How long do you stay there? Je, unakaa mahali hapo kwa muda gani? How long do you stay there? Unakaa mahali hapo kwa muda gani? I have been so sick. Unajua nimekuwa ninaumwa kwa muda mrefu. I cannot even go to church. I don't even want to see people. I don't want to, to be around people. I feel bad inside. Get out. Get out. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody else says. I have sinned before God. I cannot even forgive myself. I cannot stand before anybody. I cannot go to my pastor. And the devil is saying, mhm mhm mhm. Na shetani anakuambia ndio. Mhm. You are taking somebody's job. Unafanya kazi ya mtu mwingine. Jesus is job. Hiyo ni kazi ya Yesu. To forgive you. Kukusamehe. It's just say Lord, inakupasa useme Bwana. I want to get out of here. Nataka kutoka hapa nilipo. I don't like this situation. Sipendi hali nilionayo. I have repented. Nimeomba toba. I have come back to you. Na nimerudi kwako. I don't like this. Sitaki hali hii. I don't like the devil coming back. Sitaki adui anavorudi kwangu. And he telling me that you are not forgiven. Na kuniambia kwamba sijasamehewa. Lord help me. Mungu naomba unisaidie. Go back to God. Rudi kwa Mungu. Go to him. Rudi kwake. And he will help you. Na yeye atakupa msaada. Don't try to say Aisa, I have forgiven you. Usiseme, it's not your Aisa, job. Usame, sio kazi yako. Ni kazi ya Yesu aliyechukua msalabani. That is Jesus Christ's role that he took Unachukua on the kazi ya mtu bwana. You are taking somebody's else role. Sasa Yesu alikufa kwa nini? Now why did Jesus die? Why? Kwa nini? Kwa nini alimwaga damu yake? Why did he shed his blood? Ili wewe uinami so that you may stay there feel sorry for yourself. feeling sorry for yourself why kwanini jesus is here this Yesu yuko hapa asubuhi ya leo. He is going to heal. Na yeye atatuponya. He is going to take that away from you. Atachukua huo mzigo kutoka kwako. Hallelujah. Nakumbuka swala la kusemwa eti. Hivi kuna mtu ambaye mtu ambaye hajawahi kusemwa nyosha mkono. Amina. Anybody here? Sisi ni wanadamu. We are human beings. Zamani mimi nilikuwa nikisemwa, ngoja niseme kwa Kiswahili hivi. Back in the days if I hear people are biting about me. Najisikia vipaya. I will feel very bad. Usiku silali. I won't sleep at night. Moyo unafanya ke. My heart is racing. I cannot sleep. Siwezi kupata usingizi. Nikamwambia Mungu, what is this? And I told God, hiki ni nini? Guess what? Na hata Mungu akusema ye. Even God did not respond to that. Nilijua natakiwa kuchukua hatua. But I knew I was supposed to take a step. I took a step. Na nikachukua hatua. And I said, "Guess what?" Na nikasema, "I am not going to listen to this." Sitaendelea kusikiliza jambo hili. Any report that comes to me, report yoyote ambayo inakuja kwangu. Should come from the Lord. Ni ile ambayo inatoka kwa Mungu peke yake. If it's not from the Lord, kama haitoki kwa Mungu. Let it go. Na iacha iende. And if it comes, na kama itakuja, it will never never bother me i will live my life i cannot live people's life sitaendelea kuishi kwa maneno ya watu hapana hallelujah hallelujah if it is my husband kama ni mume wangu i go to him and say hello nitaenda kwake na kumwambia hello i'm sorry samahani you hurt me umeniumiza ai kazi yake hiyo siku nyingine that is his job will do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Uko hapa unasema. You are here and you are saying this. Haya mambo yamenitoa. Mimi nakuja tu kanisani yetu kwa sababu nakuja tu. I'm only coming to church for the sake of coming to church. When we meet on Thursdays, tunapokutana Alhamis kama wanawake, as women, you don't show up. You are not coming. What is holding you back? Kitu gani ambacho kinakuzuia usifike? 
Wakutanikapo wawili au watatu kwa jina langu mimi niko. Whenever two or three meets for my name I am with you. Niko pamoja nao. I am right there. Niko pale My presence is there. Uwepo wangu upo pamoja nao. Sasa wewe unakutana na nani? Now who are you meeting? Lazima kuna unaye kutana naye. There must be somebody you're meeting with. Kwa jina la nani ndio hatujui. Through whose name we don't know. Tungaje samani na kemea wa I am sorry for that. Toka huko nyumbani. Come out from your home. Toka huko chumbani ulipojifungia. Come from that room that you have been hiding. Umejiweka kwenye cocoon. You have put yourself in a cocoon. In a box. Katika box flani. Ambalo wewe umeshindwa kutoka. That you cannot come out. Kwa nini? Why? Na Mungu amekupa wokovu mkuu namna hii. God has given you this life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wokovu ambao utapata furaha. Salvation that Amani. will bring you joy, peace. Utulivu ndani yake. Within it. Hey, labda hawa wa huko hawajasikia. Hallelujah. Let me to these people here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here we are. Tuko hapa. We are saying God. Tunamwambia Mungu, we need you one more time. Tunakuhitaji tena. Just the way you called Moses. Kama vile ambavyo ulimuita Musa. To Mount Sinai. Kama Sinai. And give gave him another two tablets na ukampatia tena vile vibao viwili vya mawe and you wrote them again with your finger na ukaviandika tena kwa kidole chako you could say words lord ungeweza ukasema maneno bwana let this commandment be written on this tablet ukasema labda maneno haya yanayaandikwe kwenye mawe haya but god you did it again lakini mungu ulifanya tena you Moses fasted 40 days and 40 nights Musa again. Musa alifunga kwa siku 40 mchana na usiku tena. So that ili kwamba the Israelites would have that covenant. Wana wa Israel waweze kupokea lile agano. Na sisi leo. Even us today. Na mimi leo. Even I today. Nilikutenda dhambi. I sinned against you. Nimepita kwenye shida. I have passed through tribulations. Watu wameniumiza matatizo yameniumiza. A lot of people have hurt me, problems have hurt. Nimekaa muda mrefu. I have stayed for so long. Sijaona fahari katika wewe bwana. I haven't seen the praises. Na leo tunazidi kuimba. And today we are continuing. Yeye ndiye fahari ya. He is our praise. Na yeye ndiye Mungu. And he is our Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Ukumbuke. Remember that. Kama unahitaji maombi sinaja kujieleza sana. If you need prayers. Karibu huko mbele. Please come forward to the house. wa Mungu atakuombea. The servants of God are going to pray for you. Nataka kutoka mahali. If you want to come out of a certain situation. ukovu ambao wamekupa Bwana. You want to rejoice in this salvation. Unataka kujivuna na Bwana. You want to boast in the Lord. Come to the altar. Please come forward. Karibu. We will pray together. Na tutaomba pamoja. Nirejeshe furaha ya wokovu bana nafsi yangu yakutamani nafsi yangu nafsi yangu yakutamani Yeah.
They have heard your word. And your word spoke to their hearts. They have realized that they need you. They have realized you are the king. And you can give them joy and peace and rest. They desire to rejoice in salvation. Because you did not die in vain on the cross. Jesus Christ, you didn't die in vain on the cross. Your blood wasn't shed in vain. All the things you pass through, it's because of our salvation. So we come before you, Lord. We come before your throne. Touch us one and Yes. May your blood Jesus May your blood Jesus Let it bring healing In our lives In the life of your child In the name of Jesus Christ Please come and touch us God In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ The son of a living God we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we please give a big shout of praise? Nenda kwa ushindi. Nenda kwa ushindi. Go in victory. Go in victory and rejoice in the salvation of your God. Before I leave this place, na kabla sijaondo kama ali hapa. I want to invite somebody who wants to give his life or her life to Jesus. Napenda nimkaribishe mtu ambaye anatamani kuyatoa maisha yake kwa Yesu. If you are not saved, kama uko hapa na hujaokoka, come to the altar. Tafadhali njoo kwenye madhabahu. And we will pray with you. Na tutaomba pamoja na wewe. And you will enjoy the covenant that we have. Na wewe utaweza kufurahia agano tulilonalo. Come to the altar. Tafadhali kaa njoo madhabahuni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father in the name of Jesus I pray for my Thank you for the decision that she has made Give Giving her life to you Giving her to you her heart To get salvation Lord, it is a huge decision that she has ever made in her life. I pray that you walk with her. You are Holy Spirit. You are the one who will guide her and teach her in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Son of a living God. We pray and believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, you may be seated in the name of Jesus. Unaweza ukaketi katika jina la Yesu.